welcome to today's lecture embedded system design design challenges optimization of design metric contents embedded system definition examples of an embedded systems embedded system architecture characteristics of an embedded system design challenge optimizing design metrics examples and summary embedded system definition embedded system embedded system can be defined as a computing device that does a specific focus job or a system having specific hardware with specific software and perform a specific task is called as an embedded system examples of an embedded systems personal digital assistant pda printers cell phone automobile engine brakes dash etc television household appliances pc keyboard examples continued auto focus cam camera disk drivers electronic toys games medical testing systems battery charger cordless phones digital camera washing machines these are the examples of an embedded systems embedded system architecture embedded system consists of hardware operating system and application software in hardware we are having sensors that are inputs input output devices memory processors hardware hardwired unit application specific logic timers a to d and d to a conversions output devices etc characteristics of an embedded systems single function execute a single program repeatedly tightly constrained low cost low power small fast etc are the characteristics reactive and real time continuously reacts to changes in your systems environment and it must compute certain result in real time without delay design metric competition in design metric competition the first parameter is power second is size third is nre cost and fourth is performance design challenge optimizing design metric key design challenge optimize various design metric design metric a measurable feature of an embedded systems implementation optimizing design metric is a key challenge common metric unit cost that is monetary cost of manufacturing each copy of the system excluding nre cost nre cost non recurring engineering cost one time monetary cost of designing the system size physical space required by the system performance execution time or throughput of the system power amount of power consumed by the system and flexibility that is ability to change the functionality of the system without incurring heavy nre cost design challenges continued in common metrics we are having the next parameter that is time to prototype time required to build a working version of the system time to market time required to develop a system to the point that it can be released and sold to the customers maintainability ability to modify the system after its initial release correctness safety and many more is the maintain maintainability 
now we'll focus on the key parameter that is time to market time to market is the time required to develop a product to the time it would be sold to customers market window period during which the product will would have highest sales this is the time in which the product is having highest sale average time to market constraint is about 8 month months delay can be costly delayed market entry so this is simplified revenue model in this model we are having product life that is of two week peak is at one week time time of market entry defines a triangle representing market penetration triangle area equals the revenue that is collected we are calculating the loss based on the difference between the on time and delayed triangle areas this is on time triangle and this is delayed triangle so percentage revenue loss is equal to d in bracket 3w minus d divided by 2w square multiply by 100 nre and unit cost metric this is the another key parameter costs unit cost monetary cost of manufacturing each copy of the system excluding nre cost nre cost that is non recurring engineering cost one time monitoring monetary cost of designing the system so total cost is equal to nre cost plus unit cost into number of units per product cost total cost divided by number of units nre cost divided by number of units plus unit cost for example if nre cost is two thousand dollar unit cost is hundred dollar so for 10 units total cost is equal to two thousand dollar plus 10 into hundred dollar is equal to three thousand dollar per product cost is equal to $2,000 divided by 10 plus $100 equal to $300. If we are having three technologies, that is technology A, technology B and technology C, then compare these technologies by cost and the best one depends on the quantity. So for technology A, NRE cost is $2,000 and unit cost is $100. For technology B, NRE cost is $30,000 and unit cost is $30. And for technology C, NRE cost is $1,000,000 and unit cost is $2. Compare these technologies depending on NRE cost and unit cost. We must consider the time to market for each technologies. So we are having technology A, technology B and technology C. This is technology C, this is technology A and this is technology B. This is technology A, this is technology C and this is technology B. Compare these three technologies based on NRE cost and unit cost. Summary. In this lesson, we have learned embedded system definition, types of an embedded system, characteristics of an embedded system, design matrix of an embedded system, references, Frank Wahid and KK Prasad. Thank you.